Welcome to Peter O'Knight Airport in Tampa, Florida. We're here with Dave Labor, who is the VP of Flight Training Services for Technem North America. And we're here to talk about this cool looking twin we've seen flying at Oshkosh and didn't get to talk to you there. And so we're here to do it at AOPA Summit. Dave, thanks for taking a few minutes out. Oh, you're quite welcome. This plane was doing some remarkable things that uh, I saw older pilots, veteran pilots of twin engine aircraft kind of with their jaws hanging. Tell us about the design of this aircraft and what it's for. Well, it's uh, basically a flight training aircraft. Professor Luigi has been doing this for uh, 45 years, designed this aircraft. He also designed the Panavia, and so you can see the similarities and lines between the two. One of the things that makes it easy to do that kind of performance is the fact that we've only got two Dwine 12 Rotex engines on both sides, 100 horses a side. So if you're doing single engine work, the rudder work is very easy on this aircraft. Now that sounds intuitive as far as keeping things in line yaw-wise, but how does it perform with one engine out? Uh, the, the book numbers are low on everything that I've seen. I've been flying this aircraft almost 30 hours now in this country, and uh, we're seeing 250 feet a minute at 80 knots, VYSC blue line on a single engine. Well, I know at, at Oshkosh, there was some pretty wild stuff going on in the sky there on one engine. I, I saw the uh, videos of him doing it. I wasn't able to make it this year. He's a very aggressive pilot, and he really wants to show what this aircraft can really do. I would love to be able to develop a program that we could take this, this aircraft around the country and show that it can perform on a single engine, but that's in the future for right now. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. All right, well, let's talk about where this aircraft is aimed. You talk about it being a training aircraft, and I think a lot of people maybe have the misconception that the twin-engine piston market is dried up and blown away. What's the story here? This aircraft has operating costs and variable operating costs in the single-engine aircraft range, somewhere between a 172 and an SR-20. So one of the things that we like to say is that you're operating a twin at the cost of a single. And so, yes, everybody's gone upscale. The cost of fuel has gone up. This aircraft, because it has uh, Rotax 912s, can use auto fuel or 100 low lead, and we can operate with 10 gallons an hour between both engines. What made Technum the company to bring this airplane forth? I mean, they, they have some specific expertise. Yes, they do. And I think specifically they brought this aircraft as a training aircraft around the world because operating costs on all the other aircraft, the training aircraft, have gone up through the roof. Because the operating costs are low and because of the ease of flying of the aircraft, we're seeing another market. I'm seeing a market for guys who have lower time multi-ratings. They can get their multi-rating in this and or they can uh, actually fly this aircraft safely with just a few hundred hours of total time. Now, who is going to be buying this aircraft to provide training? Where are the sales happening, or are they happening yet, or are you to, to that stage? We're looking for distributors and dealers around the country. I'm talking specifically to flight schools who would like to step up into twin training, or flight schools that have older twins and would like to get a more modern fleet that is uh, definitely less expensive to run. Let's talk specifically about the economics of getting into this aircraft. What is the, the projected price when it's available here in the States? projected price for an analog system with a 430 is about 410,000 with a G1000 fully loaded we're talking underneath $500,000 per copy. Now how does that compare to what's out there now? I mean I when I think uh, twin engine training I think of having to fly 20 30 year old hardware almost anywhere I go. That's true. I mean, that's, that's what people have out there. They can't afford to buy new aircraft. Our competitors are still higher priced for initial cost and also for variable costs. But the reason is because nobody is running around with 100 horsepower engines. Now, you're involved in business development for Technum North America, which implies more than just this aircraft. What uh, are the synergies between the aircraft that, that share the model lineup with this aircraft? It's a very interesting process. All the other aircraft that we're flying and uh, using are under the light sport rules. But every one of these aircraft had the same engine. 
the uh, Rotex 912. So for maintenance purposes and for learning curve for an operator, he can operate an entire line of aircraft and that's really where we want to go. We have high wing aircraft, we have low wing aircraft, we've got aircraft specific for training with the wing designed that way with struts and then of course now we have a twin, all of them using the same engine and all of them using the same manufacturing process, basic aluminum structure. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Let's talk timeline. When might we see a twin like this behind us here showing up on a local ramp? Uh, spring. Spring, the first aircraft is coming in. By summer, we're going to have the second aircraft. Uh, we have the uh, head of uh, Technam here for this show also, Apollo. And so what we're looking at is to develop the market here in this country. We want a lot of excitement. We want people uh, not only on the light sport coming in, but we want to rejuvenate the light twin market. And I think this aircraft can do it. All right, now, uh, Technam North America uh, people, I think when they hear Technum, they think of the, the, the origins of the aircraft from a manufacturing standpoint being in Italy. What is it about this aircraft that, and this whole line of aircraft that looks so beautiful that we haven't heard more about them? They're wonderful flying aircraft. They're, there's absolute magic to flying these aircraft, and they're not difficult to fly, but they're very well balanced. And there's a lot to be said for having fun in an aircraft, just for the joy of it. We've got a low-wing aircraft, the Sierra, that you can slide the canopy back and fly it with the, with the wind in your hair. We've got standard high-wing aircraft that are very similar. We can put analog instruments. We can put glass cockpits in. We can t t cross the technology range, and so, I think the bottom line is they're fun, and that's, that's a, there's a lot to be said for that. We got to have to get the word out, and that's something that we're doing right now. We're doing it with these shows. We're taking these aircraft on tour, uh, moving them around the country, and let people see for themselves what it is that Technam has to offer.